Hi guys, it's Betty. Um, I just wanted to share a little mini book that I made this weekend. Um, I would say it's close to finish. I'm not sure what I'm going to give it to yet, so I wanted to still decorate the cover and um, some of the inside pages, but um, I just created it using this cherry limeade stack from DCWV. Um, I got this one at Michael's and um, got some pretty papers in it and I thought it would be good to start using up some of my stash here <laughs> and this is a good little project to do it. Um, I actually, this mini book, the insert, the inside page, um, My Sister Scrapper here on YouTube has a um, tutorial for the inside page and um, I will link to it in the information below. Um, sometimes it takes me a little while since I'm uploading this for my iPhone to actually be able to go in and link to the videos. And I have to go on my computer to do that, but I will um, be sure to link that up. Um, but I think you could easily find it. It was in the last few months to my sister Scrapper. She does um, amazing mini books, and um, so go check her channel out. There's a lot of um, great videos that she's put out there. So um, I just did chipboard covered some chipboard covers. Um, I'd still like to, again, the front and side cover. I'm not sure if I'll put a photo mat or if I'll just, um, you know, put a little writing or a little area to journal in it or depending on who I give it to. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to give it to a friend of mine or to one of my nieces yet. So, um, and it came together really quick. I um, worked on it yesterday and a little bit this morning and um, it's really close to done. So basically it's a page that has a pocket in the front. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Sorry, I'm, let me try to move back a little bit. It's a little hard with my mini phone or my phone here, but um, so there's a pocket in the front and then I put um, you know, some of the pattern paper on the front of the tag and more of the, there's some lined paper in this paper stack, and so I thought that would be great for, oops, sorry, picture on the front, um, some journaling on the back, and then um, there's a tag in the middle, too, so you just pop it out at the top of the um, page, there are five pages total, and this one I did pattern paper on both sides, and then um, there's a tag on the other side too. So it comes together really quickly. Um, I used my cinch. It was the first time using my cinch and um, I really, it was really simple. I did it la late last night too so if I could figure it out when I was really tired I <laughs> figure it's pretty easy. So um, the papers in here are bright. You know they're pretty fun but they're definitely a brighter pinks, purples, and lime greens. That's why it's called the Limeade Stack. And um, I haven't put any tabs on the tags inside. I, I might still do that, but I kind of like how they're hidden in there right now. So, And you could decorate down here more. Um, I don't know if I left enough room in the binding to do that, but um, I love these little lined papers, so it makes it fun. And then here's another one. I mean I love this paper with the flowers. So there's some foil pages, some um, you know plain pages and then some with glitter. Like here's a foil one. And then again just really quick and easy. Lots of room for photos. Um, I think you could easily put some cute little Instagram photos on here and even, you know, probably fit a couple on here. I, I could give you the measurements, I think, um, but it all depends on, you know, you can make it any size, you know. I could have made these tags a little bit different, but I think the tag base itself is three and a half by five and a half for the tags, all of them, not just the inside ones. So I love this little plaid pattern too. And some of this paper you could turn on as well. Um, it's light enough that I think you could definitely 
journal on it, so um, here's more. Up. This is all glittery too, and that's what I use for the covers. And this just looks like lined notebook paper, but that was in the, the paper stack. The fun little polka dots are kind of glittered up too, so. Um. So, yeah, this is again, I think I still have a lot of scraps and I used about half the stack but I have plenty left um, I cut things down to make a whole I could make a whole other um, a second mini book easily with the leftover scraps I think you get two out of 24 sheets of one-sided paper so um, it's, you know definitely a, I think you can use the paper and create a cute little fun mini book. I did, um, my distressing wasn't the, back, the best, but I distressed the edges here, and then I put a little photo mat on the back cover, too, and then the front and back covers are the same. So, anyway, um, go check out my sister's scrapper, um, her tutorial. Um, it's a great tutorial on the page, and it's a super easy page insert. Um, once you get papers cut down and um, it's just a matter of layering the papers in here so anyway I hope you like the mini book let me know what you think and hope you're having a great weekend I was going to mention that um, I was at the Mall of America um, this weekend meeting a friend in, in from out of town and um, she it was scrap fest this weekend and I've never gone and I just didn't have time really to devote all the weekend, but um, I actually saw Tim Holtz they have in this big rotunda area, um, like a classroom set up, and I was walking by and saw Tim Holtz giving a class, so that was pretty cool. I was probably the closest I'll be to him unless I take class at Scrap Fest next year, so um, it was kind of funny because my, my friend who's done a little bit of, you know, scrapbooking in the past with just more of a social thing with some friends... I was all excited, and she's like, "Oh, I've never, I've never heard of heard of him before." So um, I'm like, "Well, he's a celebrity in the uh, scrapbooking industry." So um, I was pretty excited about it. But anyway, um, it looked like a fun time, lots of make and takes, but the lines are really long. So I'm kind of curious um, what people thought of it, and if um, they thought it was worthwhile or or not. Um, lots of companies there and, and everything, but um, I don't know if I'd had the patience. I think I'd, um, I needed some alone time just working with my book here, so that's, that was maybe better use of my weekend, but definitely going to look into it next year. So anyway, I um, hope everybody's having a great weekend, and um, take care. Bye.